Normal sinus rhythm is the default cardiac rhythm that represents the normal electrical activity through the heart. Electrical impulses start at the sinoatrial node, also known as the heart's pacemaker. This produces electrical impulses that are sent to the AV node and subsequently to the ventricles. If you want to learn more about the heart's electrical conduction in more detail, check out the link for this video in the description below. In normal sinus rhythm, QRS complexes are narrow and always preceded by P waves. I'll repeat this because of how important this is. P waves should always come before QRS complexes. This is what defines a sinus rhythm. If you don't see P waves, then the rhythm is not sinus. Take for example this strip where P waves are not seen. This is an example of a junctional rhythm where the pacemaker is not coming from the sinoatrial node. Between these two waves is the PR interval, and in normal sinus rhythm, this interval is always constant, and less than 200 milliseconds. This represents the inherent delay of depolarization from the atria to the ventricles through the AV node. Intervals that are way too short can represent abnormal accessory pathways seen here. And intervals that are too long can represent AV blocks seen here. Subsequently, depolarization through the ventricles is fast, leading to narrow QRS complexes occurring at a rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now, you could have rates below 60 beats per minute that are still sinus, but these are referred to as sinus bradycardia and rates that are greater than 100 beats per minute and still sinus, which we call sinus tachycardia. And finally, the ventricles repolarize, which is represented on your rhythm strip as a T wave. This interval to repolarization should fall between 400 to 440 milliseconds after the initiation of the QRS complex. This is called the QT interval. So in summary, in normal sinus rhythm, you will see Narrow QRS complexes, which occur regularly at a rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute. These are always preceded by P waves, and PR intervals that are constant, usually less than 200 milliseconds. And finally, T waves after QRS complexes, representing ventricular repolarization. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment below. I try my best to read all your comments for any feedback or ideas for upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you know when we release new videos. In the meantime, head over to our Patreon page and consider supporting this channel so we can continue to create and provide you with more great content.